somebody's gonna comment. Oh my God, I'm gonna quit watching because you were using a vacuum on them. Who did you think you was talking to, the Hornet King? Well, welcome everybody to the great state of Alabama, home of hot, heat, humidity, and nastiness. Salute our flag. I'm at a beautiful location in Coleman, Alabama to get these out of this column. Pest control company called and said, hey, man, is there something you could do? I'm like, well, yeah. Drove out here. We've met a wonderful customer all about rescuing the bees. We got to figure this column out. It's not a load-bearing column as far as I can tell. After speaking with the customer, giving him the options, she called a few people, said, if he does this this way, the way I'm, we're hoping to put it together, can you put it back together? They said, not a problem. So, bingo. We're about to cut into it. I know there's a round, whatever you want to call it, in the very bottom of this because I looked under the column and there's a hole where they can come under and up into this void. This is probably, if I guess right, this is about how high up they are. The thermal's not going to do me anything as far as being able to see the heat because, I mean, it's already 90 degrees out here with the humidity. Pointless, the whole column's going to be yellow. Bees will attach to something at the top of a void. If it were a wall, it would be the top board. And then you'd have your studs coming down, right? The top is where they start building their comb down. They have been known to attach to a side, go across, and not have that top board. But it makes it very weak. And if that were the case, it would probably have collapsed already due to heat. So that kind of makes me think there's got to be a board in here. I'm going to double check, make sure the line is straight. I can't really... All right, there it is. Right there's that line. Right there. All right. I forgot, I have my inspection camera. So, what do you do with the inspection camera? Well, you inspect, duh. This will help tell me how far down I go. Uh-oh, that ain't good. I felt comb, come on, start up, oh snap. Look at that. How far down is that? Barely that, barely that far, but if I go straight across, I got bees straight across. I know it's hard to see. All right, we got to go at least probably to the top of that tape. This gonna be a lot of bees. It's gonna be a lot of bees. We got comb to here, but there's something that was further back over in there, and that's five foot right there. So there's probably not a full circle brace in there is probably just some kind of a one going across or plus maybe i mean we get one cut that's all we get i don't know this is gonna be cool cool all right we got that loose and this is kind of There it is. Perfect. Right there. That's our board. That's what they're attached to. All right, so here's the next board right here. There's some squirrel nest or something up in that. We just gotta be careful. We don't wanna pop that open too far. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I found you, little bees. I have found you. So there's, we're gonna cut right here. Right there. And level that off and go around. That's where we're stopping at. Ooh, I done pissed them off. Ooh. All right, we went up high enough, I think. Oh, I need a bigger bar. Ah, but here's a question. How much of the comb is attached to what? And is it gonna start to come off as we go? And we can't see this is starting to blow out there uh, oh man so I need to move this out a little bit to 
keep that circularly. Ugh. Look at all them bees! That's crazy. Oh, hello girls. Oh, you got a bunch of bees up in there. Check it out. Oh, this is pretty cool. I just wondered if by some stupid reason there'd be a queen right here. I mean, would that not be the coolest thing? And I don't even have a cage. All right, but they're gonna start trying to walk over here to get in this. Where's she at? Man, this would have been a perfect spot right in here. Look at all that open. And look at how brown it is. Mama, you've had bees a lot longer than you think. A lot longer. Holy guacamole. Does that really look like a shot back? I mean, seriously? Somebody's gonna comment. Oh my God, I'm gonna quit watching because you were using a vacuum on them. Who did you think he was talking to? The Hornet King? There's a Hornet King is a great friend. Absolute great friend, but he don't do bees. So what's the difference between what I'm doing and what the Hornet King's doing? Well, that little box over there, it catches them and don't kill them. These bees are about to get rehomed in a beehive, probably at my buddy's house. But we gotta find the queen first. So, before you make stupid comments, do a little bit of research. Come on, girls. Let's go home with Yappy. You know, it's times like this that we get to hang out with each other while you're watching what I'm doing, and I can talk. To understand what we find in these columns is this is basically just their home inside of their home. Bees are looking for just an open void space, somewhere that is dark, open enough that they can grow in, that they can build home in. If you've watched my channel any, you've seen, they love to get in between the floors of residential houses where we generally tend to open up a ceiling or go through a floor to get to them. Every hive is predictable in one thing. It's the way that they build their home. Now this one is built vertical, so we, they start up higher and they work their way down. There's a reason for that. Honey weighs a lot more than what you're seeing right here, or we call brood. The capped off babies, the pollen. This comb, see how easy it is to kind of pull it? It's because it's not as heavy. Well, if they put all the, the brood or the soon-to-be bees higher up in that void, then they put honey down here. Being that it's heavier, it would pull and as it pulled, it would cause it to collapse. Look at all them bees. Look at all them bees. So them bees got a place to run. And a lot of it. Um, what I'm hoping for right now is that if I shine a flashlight up there, we ain't got bees all the way up in the top. This might be it. I mean, that's a lot of bees process now try to start reducing these numbers to get some of these up here to coming back down here to cover the brood about the best I can do let's get on it all right gang so we're gonna play a little reverse psychology on them I vacuumed up a lot of what's here but man there's still two pounds of bees three pound of bees god there's thousands of them up here but I'm gonna start taking the comb and working my way down I expect the queen to be in here there's a chance with all the vibration of the saw that she ran up in there. As chill as these are, I'm thinking we're gonna end up finding her in this mess. If she runs up, I can see her right here. So as they try to run up, I'll let them come down. I don't mind if the bees come down the void. I just don't want any more running up. I'm gonna start taking this apart going down because where are they gonna go? She gets in here, I can smoke her out of here. You see how brown that is? These girls have been here for a while. The whiter the comb, whiter the comb. The newer the comb. This has been here no, no less than early spring for sure. Everybody asks, how many times do I get stung? At this point in the video, I've not been stung yet. And it's because 
97-ish, we'll get that window of this colony's female. Treat them like ladies. So what we're gonna do is just reduce numbers down. Come on, girls. And then I can pull the, the comb off. Don't let them get all excited and runny. Runny means they're trying to escape. Get away from me. Well, when they do that, they push the queen. We don't want that. Easy does it. Easy does it. Cut it to the wall. Come down. Easy does it. Oh. All right. Now. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Right there I told you she was going to try to run. Look at that. Where's my queen cage? Oh, come on. Uh-huh. Look at that. There she is. Hang on, I gotta get my queen cage out. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I knew you guys were gonna try to make her run. Man, I knew it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this. Look, oh, I love it. Uh, Y'all hang on a minute. You stay right there. I gotta vacuum these bees off my lap. Nothing from this removal is going to get wasted. When we get home, we let the chickens clean up the wax. We then take it, melt it down, and filter it to use in different products. One of my favorite is called the Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning Stick. My friend and fellow YouTube creator, Steven, at Cast Iron Cookware uses beeswax along with a few other ingredients to make the best seasoning stick on the market. I enjoy cast iron collecting, and when I'm re-seasoning a skillet or restoring, I love how this product coats my pieces with a protective layer that helps to create that non-stick surface as well as prevent rust in between uses. This is not a paid promotion. Check out his channel, link in the description. Now back to the video. Are you kidding me? That's why I treat them like the ladies. Golly bum I got her. Now, watch this. I could do half this removal now. Which is her sitting right there. Yeah! They can smell her pheromone, and now they're still not going to get mad at me. But she didn't run up into this column where I can't get to her. That's a lot of bees. Don't stop now. There we go. There we go. Come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, we'll be back in a minute to see what it looks like. See what I mean? Now we can take a break. All right, we reached a point where there's like too many smells going on, okay? We have the vac over there collecting them, and that was blowing some smell of the bees out into the air. So we had a bunch of them flying that were coming out of the upper part of this opening, okay? Ain't no bees! But we have got literally a huge box of bees in here. 
and they're still alive. See them moving? They ain't unalived. There's about seven or eight pounds of bees in there. When I say seven or eight pounds of bees, you have to multiply that times 3,500 average per pound. Eight times 3,500. That's a lot of flipping bees. Let me get this thing all wrapped up. Let's get these home because I want to weigh this box and see how many bees are in this thing. All right, I had to go find the scale. We've done made it home and uh, check it out, check it out. There's our bees. You notice how they're all still alive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the empty box, weigh it, and then we'll weigh the same box. It's gonna be within grams, I mean, get over it. But we'll weigh this second and then we'll do a little math. So let's see, how much does an empty box weigh? Kind of make sure we balance it on there. All right, 12 pounds, 15.2 ounces. All right, let's see what this one weighs. 21.14, so 12 from 12 away from 21s, how much? Now, rewind back and remember what I said this was gonna be a total, right? There's about seven or eight pounds of bees in there. Now go multiply nine times 3,500. 3500. See it? Times 9. Well, gang, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I uh, eh, enjoyed the job. Customer was great. The column, everything came apart. One thing I made a mistake on was that there was not that little board inside, which I thought I could see. Was wrong on that one. But still, we got everything apart. We got 31,500 give or take 17 bees collected out of there cleaned out the space the uh, repair guys coming to work on that later everybody's happy but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I gotta get this box off here because we got bees that are already coming to it going hey what are you guys doing here so uh, till the next time see ya